Okay, today's location brings us to Durham, North Carolina, where the film Bull Durham was made in 1988. This is the ballpark, home of the Durham Bulls. As you can see right back through there. This uh, little town has seen a lot of changes since the late 80s. There's a lot of uh, condominium buildings, big high-rises that weren't around in the 80s. You can see a lot of scenes in the 80s when they would be walking to the ballpark or the bus coming out. You, you don't quite see a lot of this that's here today. The Bull Durham, one of the great films about baseball. I love it if I'm ever channel surfing and I come across it, whether it's the beginning, middle, or end, I have to just sit there until I finish it. <laughs> I just, I love that film. So let's go see a few sights from it. The box office for the Durham Bulls Park, right here. See a little view inside between the gates. This beautiful home here would be Susan Sarandon's character, Annie Savoy. This was her home. It was white in the 80s. It's uh, not white now, but still beautiful. I don't see the porch swing anymore. I'm guessing the porch swing is no longer here. There is a bench up there, but no porch swing. Absolutely gorgeous home. Nice little North Carolina neighborhood. It's a good little walk from the ballpark. Not quite as close as they played it to be in the movie, but uh, still not too far though. The funny thing though, if you walk to the ballpark from here, your first entrance is the outfield, which is not the way. Oh, they do have a porch swing. It's just moved to the other side. Okay. I believe in the film, if I remember correctly, the porch swing was over towards the big bay window. I think. I don't know. Hell, it's been a while since I've seen it. Maybe it was there. Who knows? But beautiful home. And there's an interesting scene with Annie, played by Susan Sarandon, walking down the street. And then the grand reveal to the ballpark she's going to. And here it is, all from this corner. And boom, there's the ballpark. Durham Athletic Park, the DAP as it's nicknamed. And this is it. Right over there, just over the Sun Belt signs, back in there was where the bull was. You hit the bull, you got a free stake. And this right here uh, was a gravel parking lot in 1988 when Bull Durham was filmed. It's now paved. But there's a couple of scenes when the guys were meeting the team bus coming home and going out where the bus takes off and starts heading up that hill. And you see that little beige building in the background. That building over there with the roll up garage doors, it wasn't here back then. But this is it Durham Athletic Park. It's closed right now, and uh, 
can't gain admittance, but we'll walk around and see what we can photograph from the outside here. There was the Durham Bulls dugout right there. Well, walking around the stadium, I, I just noticed something I wanted to point out to you. If you can see over by the home dugout, the design on the wall are those little rectangles. Those are uh, noticeable in the film. I think there were different colors back then, like green and yellow. But I do know those are noticeable in the film. And also, this is a pretty good angle of the building over there where the bull sign was. I'm just giving you a view of the uh, stadium from the uh, outfield side looking in. Pretty darn fascinating. Pretty cool. We're just over the hill there, you see from the stadium. And there is a nighttime scene where Kevin Costner's walking around the city. He's kind of going downhill like this, and I'm pretty sure this is the building. Because I remember there were old windows or something that had been filled in as it was in the film. And I do believe this is it. Doing some construction and work in the area. But I do believe that's it. That's the angle right there. He comes walking around this corner. I do believe. I'll have to go do some more internet research and see for sure if this is it. But I think it is. And on up that way.